eight polar stars for sale in the first part. That's insane. What's up guys, it's Alec Mac 111 and as you can tell by the title of this video, it is the pre-Christmas sale videos. For those of you who don't know, I do these like four times a year. I accumulate a ton of stuff and at some point I need to sell all of them because if you cannot tell, I have tons and tons of guns sitting around me and I need to offload some of my stuff. I'm trying to spend Christmas in Columbus if I can, so in order for me to drive back, I need to be able to sell some of these guns. Wave two of the mystery boxes is coming soon. If you guys buy a lot from this, I am going to be able to afford to do wave two of mystery boxes. The first one went really well, sold like 25 in the first 24 hours, and it was insane. You guys responded really well. I've got a lot of comments and remarks. Hey, dude, when are you doing wave two? Um, I will hopefully be doing it soon. I would love and envision it that I can send them to you guys so that when I'm doing my giant Christmas unboxing, you guys are able to unbox my packages that I send to you on Christmas Day, or at least a little bit right before Christmas. Um, that is the goal. And so, first things first, I respond most likely on Instagram at Alec underscore McLean or Alec Mac one on one, whichever one you want to do. And then also hop up. These are the best places to reach me. I take PayPal, Cash App, or Venmo. All the prices will be in the description. If you ask something in the comments, I will not be, I will see it and then maybe I'll like it or something. But I'm responding to people in my DMs and stuff like that because it's way easier to work out deals. A lot of you guys have bought from me in the past. I think I sold for like to like probably like 50 people individually last time, maybe a hundred. And so you guys obviously love this. Some of these guns are gonna be gone as soon as you watch this video. If you're watching an hour or two after, they're gonna be gone. I will keep the description updated constantly. Go read the description. That's actually insane. All right, you guys know we always started out with the heat around here. So this is number one of eight in the Polar Star section. This is a fusion engine combat machine. Um, it's got a metal Noveski rail system with key mod rails. It's got a nice suppressor on there. It's got an upgraded barrel, a pro win hop-up system, and it will look super good. Those of you that want accessories, you need to message me. They will not come with the accessories optics-wise. It's like e-bike, I show them. But if you want to buy optics separate for a different price, I usually will send them for anywhere from like $40 to $70, depending on brand and stuff. But if you want an extra optic on top of your gun or anything added, whether it's mid caps, high caps, accessories, I probably have it, so reach out. Up next, gun number two for this video of the Polar Stars. This one is an Ares Amoeba. It's got a Valken V12 internally. Looks super good. It will come with this. It comes with a super cool speed grip. This barrel is actually a custom barrel. Yo, where's my Glock when I need it? <laughs> Why that man just run over? Hey, stay strapped or get clapped if you know what I mean. It's got a tap airsoft drop stock as well, an amped line. This gun's super nice. It's going to go quick. Polar Star number three also will go super quick. This is a GMP Magpul MOE carbine. It's got an F1 engine in there. It looks so good externally. This is absolute beauty. I do have one EPM. This thing is going to sell before any of you see this, to be honest, because people go crazy for these. Um, but it does come with the MOE foregrip, MOE everything front. It's got a rail on there as well and a super nice clockwise birdcage flash hider as well. Up next is a gun I've had on here for a long time. I have no idea why somebody hasn't bought this. This thing is awesome. This is an ICS SIG 551. It's super cool. It's got a jack engine, got an upgraded internal tight bore, everything. Got a speed trigger on it as well, which was so hard to be able to retrofit a speed trigger for this gun. Um, I'm surprised nobody's bought it, but I think it's because it's unique and not a ton of people love the SIGs. But this is literally the growl from Modern Warfare, so go crazy. Up next, we have another combat machine. This one has a Wolverine Inferno Gen 2 engine instead. It has an awesome flash hider up here. Basic red dot, like I said, this is probably something that'll be like $25 to add on. It's got a black speed trigger. Um, this is the newer, nicer combat machine. Lowers, and I'm not exactly sure what upper this is, but it is pretty nice. It's got a nice hop-up system in there as well. And then a GMP, or I think this is a GNG stock as well but it does have a little spring issue there so I will need to either fix that or you will. Up next another Polar Star. This one is a super nice Noveski EMG build. This thing is so 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 cool. Um, this is one of the guns that EMG has decided to do some sort of licensing with. This thing has got to go super quick because this is absolutely gorgeous. It will come with this super cool compensator that I have put on there. I retrofitted through the rail system. I think it looks mm -hmm. Beautiful itself. It's got a speed trigger as well, a Magpul Repro style stock. It's got the braided line for the jack engine that is inside of it. Beautiful gun, externals trades, absolutely incredible. And second to last Polar Star of the build is a super nice, uh, again, one of those GNG combat machines that is higher quality, got a metal key mod rail, MOE rail. It's got the good old QD KAC flash hider love on there. This thing is absolutely gorgeous. AFG one, um, it's got one of the Magpul ACS or STR stocks on here. Uh, it got awesome ergo grip on there and then it does have some upgraded hop up internals as well. And the, this is like the jacked amped airsoft version engine. Last but certainly not least, HPA wise, this is Alec Mac 101's Pride and Joy. I have decided that I want to run the GNG F2000 Polar Star wise, so I'm considering selling this. If you have not watched the video on this, 
I don't know what you're doing because this is the coolest Polar Star I've ever made. And I am potentially selling this because I either want to run that F2000 consistently or I'm going to build a GMP GRY build. Uh, they have an AG one that I'm going to sell, but I really want to get one of the titanium blue and potentially build a crazy AEG build and let SureShot Midget go nuts on that. So this is potentially for sale. This is the nicest gun I've ever owned. Up first in the sniper category is this absolute beauty. I'll have the parts list in the description. This thing is an absolute laser beam. It shoots like 350 feet. It's got the Wolverine Reaper, bolts, Mac Daddy baby gun, uh, just absolutely blasting hose from all the way across uh, Mother Russia if you need to. Um, it's got a super cool suppressor on here, upgraded everything. Nothing on this is stock at all. Literally, I think the only thing stock is the external part of this, this Tokyo Murray. Everything else is upgraded. It is an absolute laser beam. I am just not a sniper. I like sniping, love watching the videos, but it's not really my play style. Sniper number two is the one I got screwed on. This is completely working at every level. I just don't want to assemble it because I got it sent back to me. If you watch that video, you know. Um, I will ship it like this is basically how it'll go. It'll come with four mags, come with this nice scope. It's a great gun. It's like one of the AGM G and or JG basic L96 knife rifles that e-bike sells. They're low quality as far as like how cheap they are, but they will last you pretty well and they shoot pretty decently, honestly. They definitely have good FPS that is not going to get you kicked out of the field, but also isn't going to reach crazy distances as well. But this is a good basic sniper rifle if you want to pretend to be like Nobridge. Up next in this beautiful sale video is this wonderful GP Masada. This is not one of the cheap ones. This is the one with the legit sticker that e-bike sells for like $450. I'm selling this for the same price as retail and it has like $300 of internals on this. This boy is going to fly off the shelves super quick because everybody loves an ACR. Up next is a HK416. You guys know this. This thing has also been upgraded. SureShot Midge has actually done the upgrades on this. The upgrade list will be in there. Um, it does have a nice EPM grip. It's got a super cool barrel setup. This is a CQB that has been retrofitted with a little bit longer barrel, so it's like the normal length. I've um, got a Crysac flash hider, nice stock on it as well. And the builds list internally makes this thing a super laser beam. If Jared works on a gun, it's going to be crazy. Up next is a Crytac Vector. This is actually have a really nice paint job on this. Someone put a lot of clear coat on on it and it's like a really high quality paint. I'm not a huge fan for spray painted guns, but it does actually feel really good. It doesn't feel like gummy and sticky and tacky like a lot of those. It does come with this. It will come with a bunch of mags. I have a lot of mags for it. I will include that in the description and I will also sell the mags separately if you have a vector that you want to buy. I think I have seven total, so it's up to you guys, but this is beautiful. Another gun I expect to fly off the shelf. Up next, another one of the brothers of the 416. This is an HK M27. This thing is absolutely gorgeous as well. It is stock everything, but it is in really good shape, and it does have the ability, if you want to kind of go to the CQB, you can take this barrel off, and then I can put a suppressor on there. I thought it looked super good. It kind of fits through the rail system as well. Um, these are super good. Just honestly, one of the best guns on the market for stock, and everybody loves the look of these. Up next is a blueprint for what I potentially want my next rifle to look like. I love these SAI GRYs. I'm going to get the titanium blue one so it can be unique. I've been selling these Trigicon SROs for days now if you've seen on a hop up and they are incredibly bright incredibly cool incredibly clear and they hold up to real seal rounds i'm going to get those in probably before christmas as well if you want some more um it, this thing explains itself just look at it it's gorgeous it's beautiful it's priced well it's going to fly another ag this one is the sharps bros m4 i've almost had like two or three people buy this someone ended up buying my aries amoeba last week and this is basically the aries amoeba but with the metal body and it's got the cool logo engravings on there these guns are super good out of the box they shoot very far very accurately and they have awesome semi auto trigger response. Up next is an ICS. This one's actually pretty old. This is like an older ICS. It's an M44 tactical carbine. It is pretty cool. I do not believe that it's the split gearbox from ICS. This is like the pre split gearboxes, but it is in good shape and it shoots well. It has been very well taken care of except for the Reaper on there, but it shoots well and it's a little bit older. And if you like that older style basic M4, this is perfect for you and it's cheap. So that helps. Up next, we have a basic M4. This is one of those LiPo ready gearboxes, just basic, easy. Um, it's actually got a cool GMP skull frog on there as well. It does shoot pretty well, but it's one, again, one of those cheaper guns. So if you're looking for a starter gun or getting your Bay a gun, this is definitely one I would recommend. Up next, AEG wise is one of the basic G and G. It does have a little bit of wobbly up here, but I hate these triangle sights anyway, so you'll probably want to remove it. But the gun is in good shape. It's a G and G combat machine. It's just basic and it's cheap. Everything else is in really good shape. I believe this is one of the electronic blowback versions. I'm not sure if the electronic blowback works because I would just disable it on most of my guns anyway if I got them. But externally, this thing feels really good. And it's like the little bit upgraded version of G and G combat machines. Last but certainly not least is a KDB SR10. This one actually is not working. I have no idea what's wrong with it, so I'm gonna sell it for cheap. But if you are a tech and you wanna work on something, Jared does not fret with KWAs. He doesn't like them that much. He's got too much time in high quality stuff. 
Up next, I have tons of uppers that I've somewhat accumulated through different trades and different collections. So if you need a new upper that you wanna start building for one of your new guns, I probably have one. And onto the Springer section before we get into super high quality pistols. This is a Springer AK. This is the crusty, dusty, musty Duster Dent 9000. If you saw the video, you definitely want this as a piece of history in your life. Spring FAMAS boy, if you wanna to go to those backyard games and dominate, or you're under 13 years old and you can only use Springers because I wasn't allowed to use AEGs until I was like 15 because they were too much power, uh, this is the gun for you. If you wanna look like the Terminator out there and blast some hose from about 85 feet with your super cool gun, these actually shoot pretty good laser beams. Uh, highly recommend the Simon shotgun. Last but certainly not least in the Springer section is this boy, which actually shoots like 120 feet with like the perfect top in the world at least if it's shot in anything like mine. Um, super cool if you wanna whip it out and do a little spinning thing with your hand. Bang, bang, it's definitely for you. Uh, this Springer, I'm honestly gonna be honest, I don't know if I can recommend this, but this is a great starter gun if you wanna get it for like your 12 year old cousin. Boy, you know we are flying through this video. It is pistol time. I do still have the Desert Eagle and the 1911 if any of you guys are interested in those from the other videos. Some people are always interested in them and some people are not. Up first we have two. These are both the Archon pistols. One of them is FE, one of them is in black. They're brand new, got them in e-bike mystery box. Boxes. They are awesome. I'm actually consider buying a real one because I think these are so, 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 so cool, which good job EMG, good job Archon, you got me, and I'd never seen them before, and they're so sick. Up next is a KDBC 1911. This thing is awesome. This is like licensed by Cybergun. It uses the same mag as Elite Forces, basically a 1911 World War II style Elite Force 1911. They are awesome pistols if you've never had one. Up next is a KJW, super cool. This is like the accelerator version. It's got a longer outer barrel, so it looks cooler for some of those people. It does have a threaded barrel as well if you want to add a tracer and it's cheap and it's nice. Now we're moving into the upgraded high cap of boys. I just got this one. I've already had a few offers on this. This thing is going to sell very quickly. It is a super nice, fully upgraded blue pistol. I will put the parts list for this in the description because it's too much to talk about, but it's absolutely laser beam. Another super crazy upgraded 1911 high cap. Uh, uh, these things are just, just insane. Like this thing is so cool. Um, again, too many upgrades to talk about. So go to the description, check the parts list. The only thing that this thing needs is a metal slide. So put a metal slide on it, please. I just don't want to build it out anymore because I've already done too much. Next is the most simple of the high kappas. This one does have a super cool nine ball barrel in it and it's just got basic upgrades, but it'd be really good if you want to get into an entry high kappa game and you don't really know what you're doing. I would recommend this pistol. Last but certainly not least is maybe the only high kappa that I will not sell unless I get what I want. I'm not actually sure even what I want high kappa price for this because this is the nicest, second nicest high kappa I think I've ever owned. And if I end up going and playing CQB in Cali or one of those places, I will whip this boy out and you better believe it's gonna be blasting people all over the Midwest or the West or wherever I'm at. Um, but this thing is absolutely awesome and I will take offers for it. I'll probably have a price in the description, but I'm not sure if I wanna sell it. I just figured I'd show you guys this super cool gun. Thanks for joining this video, guys. It's been Alec Mac 101. I appreciate you guys so much. Like I said, contact me all below. I will be selling stuff tonight and tomorrow and Sunday and all throughout the week. And whenever you guys are ready, I would appreciate if you buy some stuff. I will work on you. If you have money, I'm working, willing to work price-wise. What I have is uh, the offer there, but it is best offer uh, that I will take on those things. And it's Christmas season. I'm feeling generous, so let's work something out. Yo, I'm on YouTube. You want to say something to people?